Hey, how's it going, everybody? Happy Thursday. It is your favorite artiste, Jesse, here. <laughs> Just kidding, guys. Uh, well, I'm, I'm kind of kidding. I'm hoping I'm, I'm at least one of your favorite artistes. But uh, anyhow, I was originally going to do this little session here as a live tutorial, but I haven't had a chance to use my new camera, and so decided instead of doing a live, I'm going to practice using this camera so I can get used to using it. I didn't want to go chance it on a live video because, as you guys know, for those of you that have been following the channel, you guys know a lot, oftentimes I have some uh, issues with the video and we get cut off, etc. So I was trying to avoid having any of those kind of issues by pre-recording this. I actually originally started doing it yesterday, but I ran into all kinds of issues. So hopefully all that's been worked out <coughs> and we're going to be able to do this without a hitch. So what am I going to do today? I'm simply going to teach you guys how to draw uh, the overturned cannon here at the bottom of this painting. Um, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do it the day that we do the painting, so Saturday when we do this uh, live. I'm going to be teaching you guys how to paint, how to draw and paint it then, of course. However, for those of you that have a little time, I'd like for you to do some practice and to do this. I'd like for you guys to do this a few times. Uh, don't do it on a canvas. Simply do it on a scratch piece of paper or something like that. Um, anything that you can draw on, it'll make it easier for you guys to do it the day of the event, okay? So uh, anyhow, just wanna, let's talk about the piece a little bit, okay? So I'm gonna try and do this where we get a little close up of everything. Hopefully it's all within the camera view. Our colors, of course, red, white, and blue. <clears throat> we got black and a little bit of yellow. Those are the acrylic paint colors, and then we, I've got blue glitter and red glitter on this piece. Um, pretty basic, but um, I do have a variation of this. It's a little, just a little bit different, just to show you guys what a different um, version, or slightly different version, uh, looks like. This one, I actually used pearl glitter up in here, up in the trees, and down on the floor, on the ground. Also, the wagon's a little bit bigger, wheel's a little thicker. But um, we got thicker, um, a, a thicker fence. The posts and the beams and stuff are a little thicker on this one than on the original, on the one that I was just holding up. And then this one has a little cacti back here. Uh, so just a couple of differences to show you guys what that looks like. Let me make sure I'm still recording. I sure am. Okay, cool. So far, so good. Yesterday I was doing this and I couldn't get audio going. I've had this camera for maybe like three months now. And I haven't really had, actually, this is the first time I'm actually recording with, or yesterday was the first time I was recording with it, and man, it was messy. But anyhow, folks, let's, uh, let's talk about this piece for a little bit. For those of you that, that have this question, yes, we're going to be doing the background first. The background is going to come first on this, and then we're going to do the tree and the foreground here, the ground itself, and then we'll be adding the, the wagon or the cannon, uh, the overturned cannon and the fence and the shrubbery in the back. Okay, so this will come last. So I don't want you guys to pre-draw your canvas unless you really want to. I would suggest not doing it just because you're gonna, if you pre-draw it, um, we're gonna have this red line that's coming across, right? Uh, the white paint back in here that's also going to be in the way, or, or we're gonna be painting over that. So you can do it by drawing it first, but I don't recommend it. It's gonna make your job a little bit more difficult. When you guys practice, don't practice, unless you really want to, don't practice on a, um, on a good canvas. You, you know, again, practice on, a piece of, on pieces of paper, writing paper, whatever you've got. I'm going to be practicing. I've got this old canvas right here that's got a hole in it, a damaged canvas. I always keep these around because they come in handy. Um, but, yeah, check it out, guys. I'm going to use my little Mario Brothers. I did this for a little tutorial on my YouTube page, uh, YouTube channel, my kids' YouTube channel, which I haven't had time to posting new videos to for quite a while, so I gotta kind of get back to that, grow that channel a bit. But I'm using it to uh, hold up the or push up the angle of the of the easel, and that way we get a better view of everything that I'm doing. So let me go ahead and get my camera forward, my new fancy camera does a whole lot of different things and I don't know how to I gotta learn all the all the cool stuff that it can do but I'm um, just trying to get all of the canvas in view there I think that's it 
cool. Let me get these lights repositioned so that you guys can see what I'm doing. And we're going to get going. This isn't going to take very long. Uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe going to be like a 10 minute video or so total. But um, yeah, so a couple things. First thing we want to talk about, and you can practice this part as well. So we're going to have the, the ground, right? And the ground comes down at an angle from the right hand side. And then it kind of rises up over on the left hand side. That's not really too important, but the angle of the ground is going to dictate the angle more or less of your fence. And then of course, slightly the angle of your, of your ken, depending on, maybe yours is buried, so that's not super important. Yours could be buried at whatever angle you guys want. We're going to start with the, with the ground and I'm going to turn the uh, easel a little bit so that I can see a little bit better. So about from here, I'm just going to draw a line that comes over and then shoots up like this. Okay. This slightly left of the middle is about where I'm going to have my cannon. So just to point out, it's pretty basic, nothing to it. If you imagine, this is a modified rectangle. So here's your rectangle, right? Left side, if you draw a line like this, you have your, uh, the right side, you got a line coming down, but instead of having a straight angle there, you're going to have a curved edge and then it comes down to a straight line. The circle for the wheel, because of our angle, it's not a perfect circle, right? Of course, under normal, uh, straight on perspective, this would, be, this would be a perfect circle. But because of our perspective, it's more of an oval, more of an egg shape. Okay, so just a couple things to keep in mind before we get going on that. So over here, slightly left of center, I'm going to draw uh, an angle that kind of shoots up a straight line, but it kind of shoots up, shoots over to the left a little bit, just a slight angle to the left. Okay, from there, watch what I do with my hand. I place it down on the table. It stabilizes my drawing hand, helps me draw a straighter line. So top part of our rectangle just kind of goes out like that. Okay, so this is what I got so far. Pretty basic, pretty easy. Nothing to it. Nothing fancy. Okay, remember I always tell people, don't overthink things. Look at things for what they are, and just concentrate on the small bit that you're doing at the moment. So from here, I can do, like I'm going to, let's say I'm going to do a little part of a circle. I curve this part of the top, and then I bring this down like that. Okay. So straight line, then a curved line, and then a, then you want to bring this down. And it, this and this line, these two lines should match as far as their angle is concerned. It doesn't have to be perfect, you guys already know. Okay. The next thing, I'm going to do the wheel. I want to concentrate on the wheel a bit. And I can already see that this, this wagon, or, or this cannon, the base part of the cannon is a little smaller than on the original. No big deal. I'm not going to be using this canvas anyway. Um, so about from here, you're going to start your circle for the wheel. And again, it's an oval shape. So we can kind of bring it up. Oh, let me turn it towards me. And then this is going to come down. And then here at the bottom, I am slightly turning it back in towards the, towards the cannon, the body of the cannon. So here we go. We got this right here. Okay. So you want to decide whether you're going to come out, depending on where you drew this line, where you started this line, you're going to have to draw the other edge of your wheel. So it'll either be on the inside or on the outside. I choose to do it on the inside. Now, as I draw this inner edge, let me bring up the original to point out. This is skinnier on the far side. This, that's the far side of the wheel. And this is the side that's closest to us. It's skinny and then slowly gets a little bit fatter as it gets to the front. Okay. So, Keeping that in mind, so I start really skinny back here. Let me probably start a little too thick, so let me erase that line a bit. Don't forget, that's what erasers are for. Some people don't like to have to erase, but it's all part of uh, drawing. So here we go. Slowly start to thicken the space between the um, the two lines, so that it looks like it's the wheel. This part of the wheel is closer to us. There we go. Okay. Now we got spokes. we got some spokes. Um, the original I think has like some like six spokes. I'm going to do whatever looks right. Yours could have 
7, it could have 5, it could have 6, okay, I think mine's going to end up with 5 spokes that we can see. There's spokes on the other side, of course. If any one of your lines doesn't look right as far as their angles, simply redo it. That part's probably going to be the trickiest part of this whole drawing. Okay, so there's our cannon. Upside, overturned cannon. It was in a, there was a war, right? Civil War kind of, the whole thing signifies, not the Civil War, but the War for Independence. And so we got an overturned cannon laying in a field somewhere. Okay, next thing we're going to do is work on that fence. Fence is pretty basic. We just have a bunch of straight lines, mostly straight lines. Start, we're going to start with our fence post. Somewhat slightly over to the right of your cannon. Up to you how tall you want your fence to be. But I'm going to make my fence post just a little bit shorter than, uh, than my cannon wheel. All right, so there's one. As I move up along the hill here, each, each uh, post has to be a little higher than the one preceding it. And the reason for that is, of course, because it's the fence post technically are about the same height. But because the angle's a little higher here, this one's going to be a little higher than the one left to it, left of it. Okay, it's a little straight line. This is all. This uh, this is a wood fence, so it doesn't have to be perfect. Wood's a little can be a little warped from the weather. Okay, there we go. Then we're going to do little, little cross beams on top. Okay, slightly at, a, at an angle upwards. As you move left to right, you don't want these straight, you want these slightly angled the same as what you've got on that hill there. Okay, so there's one cross beam, here's another. Okay, again, this is wood, so they don't have to be perfectly straight. Maybe the one here is knocked down, it fell, fell down. Okay, like that. And we got another beam right here. Let me turn this towards me a bit. Now I'm going, I know I'm going a little fast, but you guys will be able to pause it, back up, all that good stuff. So there's another beam there. We got another beam right over here that goes across these two. And then maybe right here, we got another one there. And then of course, the fence goes off to the side, you know, goes across, who knows how far up that hill. So we want to make sure we draw some beams going that way. So that is pretty much it. Pretty basic, like I said. Nothing too fancy about this whole process. Uh, of course, this is all going to be black. This is going to be black. The fence posts are going to be black. And then we're going to have the tree. The trickiest part of this whole thing is probably going to be the tree. Um, I, I have some techniques and tricks I'll be showing you uh, while we work on that, but... So you guys can see, there, there's what, that's the one we're going to be using for reference, okay? And then of course we've got foliage and stuff on the floor. Um, but there you have it, folks. Let me know what you guys think. For those of you that watch this, practice as much as you feel like you need. Uh, let me know if you guys are excited for Saturday. I know I am. This is a really fun piece to do. And uh, I always have a lot of people just, uh, you know, really enjoying this one. But... Uh, Anyway, I'm going to try to see if I can do, do a little close-up here um, without losing focus of our canvas. Just having a little practice with my camera, guys. So, there we go. There it is. All right, everybody, let me know what you think. Leave your comments down below. Hope you enjoyed this little quick tutorial. And I will see you guys on Saturday. 1 o'clock is our, is our check-in time, and 1.20 is our um, actual start time. All right? Okay, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys all on Saturday. Hope you guys have an awesome rest of today. Bye-bye.